Hey guys, Eli here from Nintendo Network 64, here to talk about what Nintendo needs to do in order to get third parties onto the Wii U. I find something very troubling with the Wii U. There are only 14 confirmed third party games coming to the platform in the next year, and we cannot forget that this list includes several licensed games including Disney Planes and Disney Infinity. Fortunes are not looking good for those who only bought the Wii U and aren't planning on picking up the other systems when fall arrives. This situation begs the question, what can Nintendo do to get third parties on board? Number 1. Give them money. You know what publishers love most of all? The answer is money, and Nintendo has tons of it. At last count, Nintendo had over $9 billion sitting in the bank. They obviously are not anywhere near a financial wreck, no matter how little the Wii U is selling. Nintendo needs money in order to make money. By funding the wonderful 101 and Bayonetta, Nintendo is already showing that they somewhat get the situation, but they need to go farther. Imagine if Nintendo paid Ubisoft to keep Rayman Legends on the Wii U. It wouldn't have been that costly, and the company could have definitely afforded this. What if Nintendo paid Rockstar to make GTA on the Wii U, and paid for exclusive DLC? That would boost Wii U sales immensely, and it is something that Nintendo could have afforded as well. Many third parties are calling the Wii U underpowered, and it may be in comparison to the PS4 and Xbox One. But, if they're getting paid well, it won't matter. Third parties will develop games for the system and find technical workarounds. Number 2 is get those indies. As an extension to paying third parties for games, Nintendo could fund several small indie projects in exchange for console exclusivity. This is the one place where Nintendo could compete directly with Sony, the current leader in console indie games. During its E3 press conference, Sony revealed that many indie games will be console exclusives on the PS4. Nintendo needs to go out of their way to fund these indies and get them on the Wii U exclusively. All it takes is one Minecraft and the console could sell incredibly well. An investment into the indie scene is an investment into the future, and Nintendo needs to fund these smaller projects in order to expand the amount of games coming to their ailing console. The third is Wave Fees. Did you know that although Ubisoft may sell Watch Dogs for 60 bucks, they don't get all of that money? Obviously the retailer gets a cut of the pie, but so do the console manufacturers. Off of the $60 game sold on the Wii U, Nintendo gets about $10 to $12 in fees from the company. Obviously this is a large chunk of money, up to 20% of the product. Nintendo needs to waive these fees in order to get the third parties on board. One of the biggest barriers of entry when publishing a game is the fear that a profit won't be made. We already know that porting games to the Wii U isn't very expensive, since several developers have already pointed out that the architecture of the Wii U is similar to that of a PC. So the problem isn't that porting games is too expensive. If Nintendo took off fees for a game until it became profitable, then companies would be much more enticed to make games for the Wii U, since there's a lot less risk and they're not losing out on the 20% of the profits due to fees. Honestly, I think this could trigger one of the biggest changes in developer attitude towards the Wii U if this policy was implemented. Overall, Nintendo has a lot of work to do if it wants to get third parties onto the Wii U, and obviously the biggest things it can do all require money. As the saying goes, you have to spend money in order to make money, and this is no different. Nintendo needs to pay third parties for support, fund indie games, and waive fees if they want any change in the current third party approach towards the Wii U. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, it really helps. And also, don't forget to check out nn64.org, the official Nintendo Network 64 website, where there's lots of news, reviews, editorials, all in written form. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.